Well, I know this is going to be a really random vlog. My hair looks like a real big mess, but, um, anyway, um, I've been thinking about family a lot lately, and, um, it was kind of interesting, kind of feeling, um, when I was out Yes, there's a Christmas movie on, and it's November. Anyway, um... Anyway, I was saying, um... Family, you know, I... When I was out in Washington, I had, um... You know, I had my... I got to see my cousins, which was nice. I haven't seen them in five years. Um... I didn't get to see all my cousins out in Washington, but that's okay. They have their own lives and their own families too. Um, but you know, I connected a bond, family-ish kind of thing, with um, the skating crew that my aunt is on, um, which was nice. They treated me like family and great friends. Um, I'll cherish that with all my heart. Um, when it was, um, when I went to the cancer relay for the support of my brother, as most of you know, my brother is, um, fighting colon cancer right now, and, um, it's a real bummer that I'm not there for him now, still, um, but he's, um, he's trucking along pretty good. Um, he is going to go to Thailand, um, right after Christmas, which is also kind of cool. He's going to go to Arizona during Christmas, so I won't be able to say happy, Merry Christmas to him very much. Um, I guess that's what cell phones are for, right? Um, but when I went to the cancer relay, it was kind of, it brought tears to my eyes because... I looked and I, you know, when I was going through the cancer relay and walking around, um, you know, it was just like, that woman looks familiar and of course she gave me the stink eye kind of look and then she looked again and I went and it was, um, my sister-in-law Jamie. Um, she had breast cancer. And I don't know if she still has it or not. Um, her and I didn't get to go out to lunch like we wanted to because I didn't have enough time. And she, you know, she's busy with work. And, and if she's still going through um, treatments, then I didn't know. So I didn't get a hold of her and stuff like that. And, but, and also, I looked up and I saw my oldest nephew who is going to be um 26 yeah I have a 26 year old nephew how's that possible um and you know he he has always been taller than me but you know what I don't think that boy has ever stopped growing <laughs> and um then I saw my youngest nephew um his his brother and he's taller than me, and he's almost taller than his brother, too. And it's like, how is this possible? You know, and thinking about it. And, and it was kind of funny, and I thought, you know, I, I wonder what's going to happen. Are we going to still talk, or are we going to be friends, or what? And it was kind of funny, because I came home from the cancer relay, and I had one, one friend's request on Facebook, and I thought, okay, who could this be, you know? Um, and I looked, <clears throat> excuse me, and it was my oldest nephew. He added me as a friend. And I thought, oh, amazing. It felt kind of good that, you know, and, you know, he gave me a big hug, and he goes, you know, you're still my favorite aunt. <laughs> and, um... I think he was pissing a little. So, and, but, and you know, what really gets my goat, I guess, 
is that my my brother Don wasn't he didn't want to see me and that hurt a big bunch you know he he knew I was there um my brother who is fighting cancer right now said come out you know come up you know they were um they sponsored my brother who has cancer and my sister-in-law who has breast cancer and um they had um their mom's motorhome and they were sponsoring and stuff like that and he was like hey don get out of here your sister wants to see you and he's like i don't have a sister um yeah you do buddy <laughs> And, um, even Jamie, my sister-in-law, said, Donnie, come out here, and your sister wants to see you, and he's like, I don't have a sister. What's wrong with you people? And I was just like, oh, whatever. But it was nice that I got to hang out with my nephews and, um, my sister-in-law for a little bit. And, um, it just... I don't understand why my brother is still like that after all these years. He doesn't believe that he has a sister. Sure, there's 27 years apart between him and I, but still. Or 26 years apart, not 27. Yeah, 27. 26. Um, but still, <sighs> he needs to get past that. That he does have a little sister. <sighs> He's just weird. And it hurts big time. But now when I took Eddie to um, my cousin Don's wedding, all my cousins loved him. And my cousins are so happy that I'm happy and, you know, we're all happy, you know, but, you know, there's some family that just don't even care. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but it feels like they don't care. Uh, and it hurts. It hurts a whole lot, and um, I wish that my family would get along, and they don't. Um, it just it really hurts. I wish my family would get along, because, um, you know, I'm, I know for a fact that I will be getting married someday, and I want them to know that I'm getting married. You know, I don't want them to be shot in the dark and say, hey, how come we weren't invited or how come we didn't get an invitation or whatever. I don't want that, but it looks like it's going to happen, you know. I don't know. And, you know, every year I send out Thanksgiving cards to my family. I don't get one in return. Um, I stopped sending Thanksgiving cards to all my friends. Because they didn't send one back. They didn't even wish me Happy Thanksgiving last year. Last year was a really, really difficult year. Um, you know, and they didn't send me one. And that hurt. And I'm still hurt. Um, I know I don't like holding a grudge like everybody else, but, you know, I do. Um, I still, I, I never got an invitation or anything from Shannon for when she got married. Um, I just don't understand it. I got one from when Diana got married and her husband despised me too, but it just hurts. So anyway... That's my opinion for the day, and I'm sorry that I'm bitching and moaning about it, but I have to let it out. And I want to see who my true friends are on seeing it, you know. So, anyway, it's about, I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. It's like about 75 degrees outside. I'm going to go play outside. So, I'll catch you guys later.